Now let's work on the crossword puzzle for test two. And I have, I have the clues that are pulled up on a different screen because I don't want to go back and forth between, between the puzzle and the clues. So I'm going to read them um, from a different screen. One across, functional group in caffeine, not nicotine, lidocaine, not benzocaine, Valium, not Xanax. We would need to look the structures up for those. Um, let's... Let's see if we can just figure it out without looking the structures up. Uh, five, this type of transport moves big molecules in and out of the cell. Facilitated. Two down, says glycolic. Two down. Type of liquid, at, typically a liquid at room temperature, typically from a plant source, Contains many carbon-carbon double bonds. That is an oil. What's one down? Glycolic acid and lactic acid are both examples of this type of hydroxy acid. Well, it's either alpha or beta, and since there's five spots, I'm going with alpha. Six across says this type of amine contains a nitrogen that is bonded to exactly two hydrogens. A nitrogen that's bonded to exactly two hydrogens and one carbon is a primary amine. Eight across says an ester with a really long carbon chain, that's a wax. Four, four down, many versions of this reaction. One version converts an ester to a carboxylic acid and alcohol, hydrolysis. An ester converting to a carboxylic acid and an alcohol. Nine across can be mixed or simple, can be fats or oils. This is the triacyl glycerol. Three down, travels from one neuron to another, neurotransmitter. Eleven down. This functional group is abbreviated COOH. That is the carboxylic acid group. Thirteen across when phospholipids line up in two rows, tails touching. That is the lipid bilayer with only one A. Seven down, whoa, CH2OH, CHOH, -C oh, that's glycerol, glycerol. Ten down, this type of transport occurs when a cell uses energy, that's active transport. Fifteen across, Heptyl, methanolate, methanoate, propyl, propanoate, and aspirin. Those are all esters. 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock, 12 across. C, O, C, O, C, bonding pattern. That's an acetal. 19 across. This type of reaction when ester is mixed with sodium hydroxide. That is saponification. 20 down. Reaction uses Tollens reagent to convert butanol or butanol to butanoic acid. That is an oxidation. 26 across. Insoluble nonpolar biological molecule with no particular functional group is a lipid. 24 across phosphoacylglycerol or sphingomyelin phospholipid. 22 down, react a ketone with only one alcohol to make a hemiacetal. Three 
31 across. When this type of molecule has a carbon-carbon double bond, its position is located by counting from the end of the carbon chain, fatty acid. 27 across, the opposite of the reaction in 20 down. 20 down is oxidation. The opposite of that is a reduction. 21, this type of amine contains a nitrogen bonded to exactly one hydrogen. That is a secondary amine. 29 across, this is the soluble product formed when an insoluble carboxylic acid is reacted with sodium hydroxide. That will be soap. 30 across, this type of amine contains a nitrogen not bonded to hy hydrogens. That is a tertiary amine, 28 down. This type of hydroxy acid must have at least three carbons. Ooh, that's a beta hydroxy acid. Wow, that's a tricky. So here's the carboxylic acid. If it was alpha, this is where the OH would go. If it's a beta carboxylic acid, that's where the OH would go. So it has to have at least three carbons. Ooh. 23 across, when H2 and Ni, with H2 and Ni, this type of molecule can be reduced to a primary alcohol. That's an aldehyde. 18 down, caffeine, nicotine, morphine. I think those are all alkaloids. Well, they are all alkaloids. I think that's what the clue wants. 25, this type of transport moves small molecules in and out without energy. Simple, diffusion. 17, typically a solid at room temperature, typically from an animal, typically saturated. That's a fat, 14 down. Biological, biologically synthesized molecule that travels from the brain to organs is a hormone. And 16 across, this functional group is recognized as a carbon-oxygen double bond in the middle of a carbon chain that is a ketone. So now we're left with the nicotine, caffeine, yes, nicotine, no. So this is either an amine or an amide. And the way that we're going to figure it out is by looking it up. Let's look at um, nicotine. There's nicotine. And it looks like nicotine does not have any carbon-oxygen double bond in it. So that means that it's probably... Um, it doesn't have an amide, so the question says in caffeine, but not nicotine. So let's double check by looking up the structure of caffeine. And yes, oh, caffeine has got amides all over the place. So this is amide.